Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omini Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing Odisha CPET Biotechnology Question Paper Set 1 2021 and I will be discussing only half of the question paper. The rest half I will be doing in another video. So here we will discuss questions from uh, 1. Then which of the following electromagnetic wave has highest wavelength? The answer is option D that is microwaves. They have got the highest wavelength. Then the ray, ray of light passes through dash part of a lens without deviation. So it passes through optical center of a lens without deviation. The number of electrons contained in 1 coulomb of charge. So charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. That is E is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. <clears throat> we know that Q is equal to NE, N is equal to Q by E, N is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. That is 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. So the answer is option B that is 6.25 into 10 raised to 18. Then, two bodies of masses 4 kg and 5 kg are acted upon by the same force. If the acceleration of light body is 2 meter per second square, the acceleration of the heavier body is. So, for lighter body, F is equal to ma. And F is equal to 4 into 2, that is 8 newton. For heavier body, I have written F is equal to capital M, capital A. And they have given the same force. So, small m a is equal to capital M a. So, 8 is equal to 5 into a or a is equal to 8 by 5 that is 1.6 meter per second square. Answer is option C. Then next one. The dimensional formula of kinetic energy is. So, kinetic energy is given by the formula half m v square where m is the mass and v is the velocity. Dimension of mass is capital M and dimension of velocity we find out using the formula distance by time or L by T that is equal to LT raised to minus 1. Dimension of kinetic energy is equal to half mv square that is half m LT raised to minus 1 the whole square that is m L square T raised to minus 2. The answer is option C m L square T raised to minus 2. Then calculate the pH of 0 0.02 no molar NaOH. So NaOH is basic and they have given the concentration uh, of hydroxide ion. And um, NaOH can give out one hydroxide ion. So the concentration of hydroxide ion will be 0 0.02 molar. So pOH is equal to minus log concentration of OH or minus log 0 0.02 so that after simplification you will get 1.699 pH plus pOH is equal to 14 so 14 minus 1.699 will be 12.301 that will be the pH of 0 0.02 molar NaOH answer is option D 12.3 then next one which quantum number governs the spatial orientation of an atomic orbital? It is magnetic quantum number. Answer is option A. Which of the following properties generally decrease along a period? So it is the metallic character that decreases along a period. Then what type of hybridization is exhibited by BCL3 and PCL5 respectively? It is SP2 and SP3D. Answer is option uh, B. Then next one. The T half of the decomposition of a compound is 20 minutes. When the initial concentration of the compound is doubled, the half-life period reduces to 10 minutes. Find the order of the reaction. So T half-life uh, is directly proportional to A raised to 1 minus N. Where N is the order of reaction, A is the initial concentration of reaction and K is a uh, constant. Because we can write the equation as T is equal to K A raised to 1 minus N. Then uh, they have given 20 is equal to K A raised to 1 minus N. 
and 10 is equal to they have told that when the initial concentration is doubled so 2a raised to 1 minus n the half life is 10 minutes then solve for the equation and you will get answer as 2 n is equal to 2 where n is the order of the reaction so the answer will be uh, option c second then next one the binary equivalent of the decimal 72 is so what you have to do is divide 72 by 3 by 2 until you get remainder 1 so and then go and the remainder if it is 0 or 1 you have to write it on the side like this and read from bottom to top so 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 that will be the binary equivalent of 72 answer is option d then what find the value find out the value of x if log 5 x minus 7 is equal to 1 so 5 raised to 1 is equal to x minus 7 5 is equal to x minus 7 x is equal to 12 answer is option c then the first january 2021 is friday what date first january 2021 23 will fall so we know that there is no leap year from 2021 to 2023 so first january is 20 you need not have to see for uh, this one okay i by mistake i wrote this okay so odd number odd days of an year that is reminder of number of days in a year divided by 7 so 365 days are there divided by 7 um, it will be 1 so 1 is the reminder then again for 22 365 divided by 7 1 for 23 also 365 divided by 7 1 now the total number of odd days will be 3 that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it will be 3 so given day is Friday so Friday Saturday Sunday answer will be Sunday answer is option A Then, a train is moving at a speed of 1.32 km per hour. If the length of the train is 110 meters, how long will it take to cross a railway platform of 165 meters long? So, speed of the train is 132 uh, km per hour. Length of the train is 110 and length of the platform is 165. So, to cross the railway platform, the train has to travel a distance equal to the sum of the length of the train and length of the platform so total distance will be 110 plus 165 that is 275 then convert speed they have given it in terms of kilometer per hour we have to convert it to meter per second so divide by or multiply by 5 by 18 so speed is equal to distance traveled by time and time is equal to distance by speed and you will get 7.5 second after substitution and simplification. Answer is option B. Then next one. The sum of three numbers is 98. If the ratio of the first and second is 2.3 and that of the second to the third is 5.8, find out the second number. So they have given the ratio. We then uh, we, we will write it like this. A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3. B is to C is equal to 5 is to 8. Then multiply the first ratio by 5 and the second by 3. And you will get A, B, C is equal to 10 is to 15 is to 24. Sum of the ratio is 49. Then 15 divided by uh, 49 into 98. You will get 30. Answer is option C. Then, which one of the following statement is correct? <clears throat> more is the degree of unsaturation in a fat, more is the saponification number. Shorter the average chain length of fatty acid, higher is the saponification number. Saponification number reveals the quantity of free fatty acid present in a fat. Saponification number is a measure of the number of OH groups in the fat. So, uh, what is saponification number? It is the number of milligrams of KOH or NaOH necessary to saponify 1 gram of fat under stated conditions is referred to as saponification value or saponification number. 
now they have given uh, various options and out of that the answer will be option b that is shorter the average chain length of fatty acid higher is the saponification number because shorter chain fatty acids have lower mean molecular weight of triglycerides because shorter chain fatty acids have lower mean molecular weight of triglyceride and hence higher saponification value and they require more amount of koh so shorter the average chain length of fatty acid higher is the saponification number then next one which of the following glycosidic linkage is found in cellulose so in cellulose you have beta 14 glucose glucose linked to glucose through beta 14 glycosidic bond answer is option c which of the following are known as helix breakers so it is proline and glycine which are known as helix breakers answer is option 9 which step of the tca cycle is involved in the reduction of fad now these two question that is helix breakers and uh, involved in the reduction of fad with cycle which uh, which step is involved this has been repeated not only for uh, cpet exam but also for other msc entrance exam of other universities so you can i have uploaded so many msc entrance exam question papers solved of other universities also in my channel you can go through them for revision and practice which set of these which step of the tca cycle is involved in the reduction of fad so succinate to fumarate where fad is reduced to fadh2 by the action of the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase so answer is option d succinate to fumarate the next one the coenzymes fmn and fad are derived from dash vitamin so fmn and fad if fmn is flavin adenine uh, dinucleotide and uh, for the fad is flavin adenine fa and the other one is uh, flavin adenine mononucleotide and uh, in the name itself it is flavin so naturally you have to remember riboflavin so and riboflavin is vitamin b2 answer is option c methylated purines and pyrimidines are characteristically present in so they are present in trna methylated purines and pyrimidines are characteristic features of trna